Hello everybody, Andrew Majewski here with Dental L. So I will be talking to you guys about what you need to have in your emergency kit for your dental practice. So, or I should say dental hygiene practice because this is specific to a dental hygiene practice. Um, dental practices are a little bit different so I'm not going to touch on that yet. And I wanna say as well, this is specific for Ontario. So I have my own mobile dental hygiene practice and I have my own office as you guys can see in my own home. I had contacted our um, College of Dental Hygienists of Ontario Association, and I said, okay, can you tell me what we need in our emergency kit? Because if you talk to other hygienists, they might think they know, they might have more than what they need or, or, or maybe not enough. So I kind of wanted to hear from those people who we need to hear from. So I had contacted somebody from the CDHO, and I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to show you guys what is needed in the emergency kit. So um, I did some research here. So I was actually looking for the best price of an emergency kit because things are very expensive. And typically if you buy things separately, you will usually get a better deal. But I had actually found something where this is the least expensive that I found. You know, it's not all about the money, no but epinephrine is epinephrine. Why would I pay $200 for epinephrine when I can get it for 130? You know, you get the idea. But I just wanted to show you guys this. I'll show you guys the larger photo. So I like how this emergency kit sort of has it all in a, in a nice, neat, organized way. And it includes this package too. I like this also because if you read the fine print on the bottom, um, it does include, so a year after you purchase this, um, you will be um, automatically signed up for the yearly fee of $129.99, and they will send you everything in that emergency kit again, because things obviously expire. I like this, because even if I were to buy everything separately, it's not as good of a price. Now, this is U.S. pricing, I believe, um, I did the math and shoot, I'm sorry, I think it's about $450 for everything. I'm going to look that up again, you guys, and I'll let you know, because I, I haven't actually purchased it yet. I was just doing the research, but I'm going to purchase it um, this evening. So I will let you, you know. So what do you need in the emergency kit? So when I, contact, um, when I contacted the CDHO, I'm going to read the email. Um, I did ask them, so what do I need in the emergency kit? So then that way I'm doing everything that I'm supposed to be doing. And they had said, I'm just pulling up the email now. So they had said a dental hygienist is needed to do their own risk assessment and decide what should be put in their emergency kit. When I read that, I was kind of like, okay, that's not very helpful, but then continue. And it says, um, with that being said, at minimum, the um, essential emergency drugs need to be epinephrine, um, uh, diphenhydramine, salbuterol, nitroglycerin, and ASA tablets, okay? So that makes sense. And guess what? It is the first five things that just happen to be in this, uh, in this emergency kit. They do include other things too that I actually don't need. Um, I bought a basic emergency kit off of Amazon where it included a CPR mask, um, band-aids, bandages, you know, like all of those things in a basic emergency kit. So that way if somebody cuts themselves, I can, you know, help them, right? So this includes a little bit of that too, plus a little bit more. So I thought, oh, can I get a smaller emergency kit? I can't seem to find one, that's a good price. Um, not to say it's not a good price, but it's just not as good of a price. So I like this one. There was another website that a dental hygienist had recommended for me, but it was literally probably $200 more. So again, if I can get something a little bit less, I'm going to do that. So if you guys want the link, I can leave the link for this for you guys on the bottom. And just to mention again, this is specific to um, dental hygiene practices in Ontario. If you have a dental practice that is different, you will need a lot more because as a dental hygienist, there are certain things that I would not be able to apply as an example, right? Um, even when you're looking at, at epinephrine, I can't give somebody a needle of, of epinephrine, but 
I can assist them with their EpiPen. So this one includes the EpiPen. So I can assist them with that. Actually, I don't know if it includes the EpiPen per se, but um, they're not specific in the emergency kit guidelines anyway. The main thing that you need is epinephrine. So that's perfect, I'm assuming. So if you were to call 911, they might be able to guide me over the phone if needed, you know? So this is specific for Ontario and dental hygiene practices. So I, I do hope that this helps you guys. When I was just asking questions about, okay, what do I need in my emergency kit? Because now that I have my mobile practice and my hygiene practice in my own house, I want to make sure that I'm doing everything right. So thank you guys for watching. Can I actually zoom in on this? Let me check. Well, here's the larger photo again, just so you guys can see. I can leave the link for you on the bottom. If you guys have any questions, let me know. And thank you so much for watching.